I'm up at Nickwell Motorhomes and I have to bring you this. I saw it outside. This is a McLuhy Fusion 379, but as you've probably spotted, it's got a custom wrap on it. The entire vehicle has been wrapped. It's a one-off and it looks absolutely amazing. Now this, I think it's fair to say, is a love it or hate it job. I love it. I think it looks fantastic, but I'd be very interested to see what people's comments are on this one. It's based on the Fiat chassis. It's got the 160 horsepower engine and it's an automatic on this one as well, nine speed, I think it is. So very nice, smooth drive. Another thing that you can spot straight away is the all-terrain tires, which kind of suit it really. It gives it that really exclusive kind of look, doesn't it? What a machine. We'll take a wander around this one. I'll show you the interior as well, of course. On the outside then, we've got things like water filler lives underneath there. This one here is for the gas bottles. So you can get a pair of those into there. And if we come on back, it's got the garage on this one. So really useful size in here. In fact, it's got the original tires in here as well, which gives you an interesting uh, bit of scale. It shows just how much space there is in there because there are four of those uh, tires in there, but still masses of space. Really good size that. Let's close that one up. There's a bike rack on this one which has been added, a reversing camera on here as well, of course. And if we come right on round, the other thing it's got is an awning, which was added by the owner as well. That was another option. <laughs> but it's the wrap that's the big news, isn't it? That is quite something. Let's go inside. That's another door into the garage. You've got cassette for the toilet here as well, of course. And this takes us in. Now it's always the way with these fusions that they're really well lit inside. Now, this is a 7.5 meter vehicle so there's a lot of space in here and we'll come right on through but I think it is the lighting and the airiness, the light woods, plenty of big windows, just feels really nice and open inside. Let's come right up to the front. It's the usual uh, Fiat layout up here and yes it is a nine speed automatic. Um, what else have we got on here? These have all got the blinds that come across so they're on the windows here like this across the windscreen as well obviously for privacy at night. You've also got power sockets in here so 12 volt sockets there, USB and so forth and there's a little bit of storage up here as well. Big opening skylights in the centre um, that one is a blind that comes across, so at night again, you can close that off, cut the light out. And if we come on back, it's actually got five seat belts on this one. So you've got these two seats here, of course these swivel around when you're stopped. But there's a seat belt here for this seat, and two seat belts here for these. So quite unusual to travel with five people in the vehicle. Table is on a gimbal, so this there's a little catch right down underneath there, and that you can then slide out and move around and do whatever you want to do with that. So that's quite a useful thing. But the thing that's particularly intriguing back here is if we come back a little bit further, there is a button up here that if we press it, brings the bed down into play. So let's just move that off of there. This is just netting that comes round all the way around. So if you've got kids in there, obviously it just makes it a bit safer. But that basically gives you a big double bed up there and you've got another bed then at the back. So it'll sleep four and travel with five. Let's motor that one back up. There we go, again with this funky lighting around the place. If we have a look over here, we have got the heater controls, light switches. This is a monitoring system, so we can have a look on here for things like uh, temperature, and that's giving you outside and inside temperatures. Or well, actually, I think the other way around, that's the outside, and that is the inside. Also, you can look at um, battery voltage for the leisure battery and for the uh, the engine battery, water tank levels are in here, all that kind of stuff, that's all monitored from there. There's a load of storage about the place, all these little lockers like this, and the same over here. So plenty of spaces to tuck things away. And if we come back a bit further, again you can see this lighting around the place. Kitchen is here, you've got the sink, you've got the hob down underneath here. Again, more bits of storage. 
and then you've got the drawers down here as well and they lock shut like that so that obviously they don't slide open when you're driving a bit more storage in there and you might think well there's no oven but actually there is because if we spin around here we've got both the fridge and the freezer and then the oven is up here at the top like so you can have a tv here if you want as well it fits in here and then it slides out and drops and tilts for watching here in fact you can see that you've got the tv sockets for it at the back for the aerial and so forth and if we spin on around a bit further this again is where you get the sense of the size of this vehicle because they've actually got an island bed back here but what you've got first of all is a separate shower and toilet compartment so shower is on this side and you've got these opaque doors of course that close off across there and then if we spin back around this way you'll see that that is the toilet compartment and you've got the sink in there as well now, there's a couple of clever things to show you here because firstly this door is designed so that if you bring it all the way around it clips in there and completely closes this area off so in the morning you, you know you're getting up you're getting ready you've got everything here and privacy from the rest of the vehicle obviously if you're just using the loo and you can close that off with the loo like that but there's one other very neat thing to show you which is look at these door catches these are completely flush and then when you put them into place well you can see this on here there we go look at that can you see that there it is there but when you bring it open it's not it's flush bring it around here it does exactly the same thing so better than actually there we go remarkable there we go come around back again you've got the opening windows with the blinds that drop down over them this is all storage around here so if we look back here you've got your hanging rails on each side more storage above there and again the opening skylight up above and then these slide across for bug screens or light screens and that as they say is about the size of that Let's take a wander back on through. It's a big vehicle, isn't it? And I will have a seat here. I'm going to say huge thanks to Nickwell Motorhomes, the organisers tour. Massive thanks to you guys for watching. And most of all, <laughs> let me know what you think of that wrap. We'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.